with all the different nations in the world that make variants of the AK-47, Russia, Romania, Poland, Yugoslavia, Serbia, Egypt, China, and even the U.S. One might ask the question, which one is the best? Which nation makes the best AK variant? Well, there is actually very little difference between most of these AKs other than cosmetic features. But I am going to talk today about which AK variant actually has features that improve its performance. So this isn't about a beauty contest or about looks. This is about what makes a better working gun. There is one that I think rises to the very top of the field. And I'm going to talk about that today on Max Headspace 9mm. If you're in the lucky position of shopping for an AK and you can get anything you want and you're wondering which one is better, which one will make you happier, which one will perform the best and last the longest, then that's what we're going to focus on. In my opinion, the strongest, best, most reliable, and best built AKM is the Norenko Mac 90. There's a variety of different cosmetic features that the Mac 90 does not have. If you want an authentic looking AK, then it may not be what you're interested in. But the things that make it different actually make it better in my opinion. So we're going to go down the list from least important to most important and talk about each one. When I first got the rifle, I didn't think much about the fully hooded front sight. But the more I used it, the more I appreciated it. It's much easier to see your target and to focus on it when it's in the middle of a ring. This is also a practical measure because it helps protect the front sight post even more than the kind of traditional sights that AKs have. Now China is not the only ones to do this. There are other manufacturers like Poland that use the fully hooded front sight. But China uses it on all of their rifles and have since 1956. The next feature that I think is kind of interesting is the perforated gas tube. Now this is the way Kalishnikov originally designed the rifle to be. He changed it to make it less expensive to manufacture. The Chinese continue to manufacture it this way and for good reason. I find that I don't need to clean this rifle nearly as often or as thoroughly because it has more perforations for the debris and gases to get out of as it cycles. The finish on the Norinco is a blued finish, not a parkerized finish like is traditionally done on AKMs. They did this for good reason, because if you scratch it, you can repair it easily. You can't repair parkerizing in the same way. The plastic Choate Druganov stock is not traditional and it can be easily replaced with ironwood furniture if you want the traditional look. But I really like it. It's comfortable, ergonomic, and has very generous padding. Cat tested, user approved. A look under the hood is where this AK's quality is really evident. The top cover is really just there to keep dust out of the gun. It'll, the gun will work just fine without a top cover at all. But the difference in this one is it's smooth. Most AK's top covers have ridges. That's so they can use a thinner stamped sheet metal. The recoil spring is a lighter spring than any other AK I've ever used. As a result, the action is easier to work. Now how is that possible to work reliably with a lighter recoil spring? 
Well, I've, I will get back to that a little bit later on. The stainless bolt carrier. The machining is extremely good. I've never seen any finish this nicely. And also, the trigger is custom ground and polished. Most AKs that I have have TAPCO triggers, but not this one. This is one trigger I will never replace. It's the best trigger on an AK I've ever used. If you look closely, you'll see it's a different color. It's not just shiny metal and it's not black metal. It's kind of a golden brown color. That's from a heat treating process that makes it wear better and last longer. The firing pin is different too. This looks different than any other firing pin in an AK. It's a round machine firing pin with a spring that keeps it centered. Most AKs use a flat stamped steel firing pin that's free floating and sharpened on one end where it meets the primer. There's never any problem with this method. It works just fine and very few people ever complain about uh, broken firing pins in an AK, but this one certainly inspires a lot more confidence. Now how is it that the Chinese were able to design an AK that would have a lighter recoil spring? Well, I got to looking around and comparing the various rifles that I have, and I noticed that the gas port that works the action, siphoning gas from the barrel, is actually smaller diameter on the Norinco Mag 90 than any other AK I have. So how is it the Chinese are able to get a reliably functioning AK-47 variant using less of the gas pressure from the barrel? I have no idea. But as a result of this, this rifle shoots the 7.62 by 39 bullet at a faster rate of speed than any other AK that I've ever found. Arguably one of the best AKs ever made was the Polytech Legend. And if price is a factor then that has to be the case because that's one of the most expensive AKs you could buy. The Polytech Legend and the Norinco Mac 90 share almost all of the same parts and are made in the same factories. The Circle 386 factory is a stamp that you'll find on the side of the receiver. The rifle made out of heavier gauge steel to last longer, a perforated gas tube so that the cleaning is less often, a blued finish that you can repair yourself, and faster velocity from your bullets. What more could you want? Hey, hey, I'm still here. Well, since I've got nothing else to do, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? Just go down there and push that little button that says subscribe right below the screen. Thanks.